Our coverage for the Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9 is sponsored by CellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome back to another head-to-head -head camera comparison video between the BlackBerry Passport and the iPhone 6 Plus. Before we dive into the sample pics, let's take a quick look at both of their camera specs. So the Passport has a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera with an aperture of 2.0 and the iPhone 6 Plus has an 8 megapixel camera with an aperture of 2.2. Some notable camera features on the BlackBerry are optical and digital image stabilization, continuous autofocus and 60fps recording in 1080p. Some features on the iPhone 6 Plus include optical image stabilization as well, continuous autofocus while recording and slow motion in 720p at 120fps. Both phones can also shoot in a maximum resolution of 1080p at 60fps if needed. So on the front of both phones, the front-facing cameras can shoot in 720p, however the Passport has a 2 megapixel camera while the 6 Plus has a 1.2 megapixel camera. Alright, so that's it for the specs, let's sit back, relax and take a look at some samples. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So when it comes to autofocusing, the 6 Plus does a phenomenal job. It utilizes its Focus Pixels feature to quickly detect and focus on the object and it's very accurate. There actually hasn't been a situation where it just couldn't detect the object. The Passport however doesn't do a good job at all. Not only does it have trouble focusing most of the time, but when it does, it actually takes a few seconds to fully detect the object. So without question, the 6 Plus wins in the focusing department. For daylight pics, I think both phones do a pretty good job. The Passport just has a lot more detail due to its higher megapixel count, but the iPhone 6 Plus has truer to life colors. There just seems to be extra contrast on the Passport pics. Some good examples are the GameCube controller and the mustard bottle over here. The actual color of the bottle is closer to what the 6 Plus picked up, so I'm gonna give a point to both phones for daytime pics. When it comes to low light performance, I think the 6 Plus takes the lead, the overall image is just much more sharper, and turning the flash on and it becomes apparent. 
the Passport overexposes the entire shot, while the 6 Plus has a more balanced shot. For daytime video, once again, the Passport has a little more contrast than the iPhone 6 Plus if you take a look at the leaves over here. Also, if you look carefully at the edges of the buildings, you can tell that the 6 Plus has more detail and is much more sharper than the Passport. Even though both phones have optical image stabilization, the 6 Plus does a much better job. There's just a lot less swaying and shakiness compared to the Passport. Both of the phones have been strapped onto the same device like all my camera comparisons, so this was a control test in case you guys are wondering. So for daytime video, I have to give the point to the 6 Plus. For nighttime video with low light, it's already obvious which phone does a better job. Not only does the Passport have difficulty time focusing on their low light situations, but the overall video is just much more darker and fuzzier than the 6 Plus is, even though the Passport has lower aperture. So I think overall for the video, the 6 Plus takes the point. So based on this video, I'm sure everyone knows already that the 6 Plus has a much better camera than the Passport. There's definitely no surprise there. With that being said, I'm pretty sure whoever buys a Passport in the first place doesn't buy it for its camera performance, but more for productive and business reasons. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you didn't, you can hit that dislike button and let me know why. Also, if you guys are into these types of camera comparisons, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because there will be plenty more to come. In fact, the Galaxy S6 and the HTC One M9 are coming up really soon. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you guys in the next video. So before I go, I wanted to share an awesome website with you guys. Sellcashier.com is a site where you can sell your iPhone for the highest dollar amount. They purchase iPhones from all major US carriers and currently only operate in the United States. They purchase all of these iPhone models that you see on this page from all the popular carriers, even unlocked phones. To get a quick quote, you just simply pick your iPhone model, carrier, size, and condition of your iPhone, and the quote will immediately display. If you like the quote, then you can just add it to your cart and check out. They will even send you a prepaid label and a box for free. You can also choose how you want to be paid. They can either send you a check or you can get paid directly from PayPal. So if you want to sell your iPhone, don't go anywhere else because Sell Cashier will give you the most cash for your iPhone. Also make sure to check out their website for updated prices. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.